Hey, Jamichael, good to see you. Um, know you've been back in Denver for a little bit. Uh, who stood out to you in these open runs? Anybody caught your eye? Um, just, you know, your early impressions from, from some of the new guys. Aaron Gordon, uh, AZ, from what I've been told, been in the gym all summer, and it, it showed. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Jamichael, thanks for taking the time. Uh, you made the the conscious decision to come back here. What what was what really led to that decision most of all, and, and what do you think this team has left to prove uh, to the rest of the league? Um, the big decision was just the, the players that we had coming in and coming back. I feel like um, just needed another some more time to gel to get to what we wanted to be, and just feel like we got a real good chance to win their championship there with the talent that we have on the team. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jim Michael. I just want to get back to Aaron Gordon for a second because I think a great number of players and have said that he's been the guy uh, that has looked most different in a good way. And, and so what is he doing out there on the court? Or is this just a, a shape thing, conditioning thing? What, what, what about him is different and better? Um, to me, it's the confidence in his jump. You know, um, he played pickup Friday, or, I think Saturday. Uh, he was knocking down threes and just playing real confident and had his own pace out there. And uh, that was nice to see. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Jamichael. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Jamichael, as a team, what do you think you need to improve to achieve your goals this season? Um, I think we need to improve defense. Just getting stops, um, especially in crunch time when we need them. Offensively, I think we solid offensively, but it's going to come down to getting stops for us to win the championship. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Jamichael. Um, obviously, vaccination status is a huge topic around the NBA. Is that something you guys discuss in the locker room um, and try to encourage other guys to get vaccinated so that in the event somebody gets sick, nobody's missing games? Are you guys talking to, to your teammates about that? Um, we have staff talking to us about it. I mean, because you know, at this point, everybody's grown. It's their own decision if they want to get vaccinated or not. But um, – I'm fully vaccinated, so you know. Hopefully, everybody jump on board. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Michael, the team doesn't really have uh, another big man in terms of six eleven, seven foot, a backup center. So it seems you'll be playing a lot there. Does that impact how you approach the off season in terms of wanting to add or lose weight and muscle? Like, how do you approach knowing that you're likely to play more five this season, or do you want to stay slimmer? Uh, because of the ability to play more stretch then? Um, yeah, I thought about that. You know, um, I think that's probably like the only position that we're lacking in right now. You know, uh, it's very important for Yoke to be able to get his wrist. So, um, I mean, I'm ready to step up to it. And um, I've been playing the five all my life from younger basketball all the way up to college. So pretty much familiar with it. Uh, I'm stronger than I look. So, uh, you know, they always help me out. But, you know, banging with bigger players, they can play a part in fatigue. So uh, my, my main focus was just being in the best shape I can possibly be in or get in. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Uh, Jim Michael, just expanding on the defense uh, that you were just talking about a few minutes ago, what um, specifically, what's going to allow you guys to improve um, to the level that you want to see this team improve on that on that end of the court? Uh, I feel like we got to communicate better. You know, uh, last year was a rough year for us, and we had a quick start. You know, we had injuries, players in and out, so we didn't get really a good chance to jail together. But um, just communicating, getting our switches down, um, getting the calls on the pick and roll out, just defending these guards, you know, in the, in the West and the East, you have great guards in this league that can score in multiple ways and shoot the ball deep. So it just, you know, us having that, that grit and that grit about ourselves just to get stops. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Jermichael, good to see you. Uh, Jeff Green said last week that 
you know, being able to join a team where he's had some former teammates kind of may help bridge that continuity. Um, from the reverse perspective, from your side, how is it to have a guy who you've played with before joining the team? It's good. You know, it's always good to see familiar faces, uh, familiar teammates that you play with. So, um, you know, Jeff's going to bring a lot of versatility to the team, athletic. Uh, he can knock down the three as well. So, you know, it's going to be fun playing with him. I think he's a great pickup for us. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Michael, with, without Jamal to start the year, uh, does does the mentality of the team have to change? Does it become a little bit more defensive oriented with one of the top offensive guys, or do, do other guys just have to step up and, and kind of fill in the gaps around? Um, with this team, it's so talented. So you know, with him being out, I think our mentality is still the same. You know, it's just it's just next man up, and then we just know we got to fill that void with him being gone. Um, you know, Jamal, a big part of the team's success, and we definitely going to need him in winning the championship. But, you know, Monte is ready and uh, just keeping the same mentality. <clears throat> Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Jamichael, we just talked to Tim, and he was telling us how much just everybody loves playing with Nicola. Everybody loves being around Nicola. Um, how much did that contribute to your decision to come back? And is there just some kind of, I don't know, fascination with how he goes about his business um, and ends up winning the MVP? Um, you know, y'all played a big role in me coming back. Like I said, he, made, he makes the game so much easier for everyone around him. And, you know, he's a humble guy. You know, he's unselfish. And, yeah. Uh, just a great guy, man, overall. So uh, I'm glad to be back and playing alongside with him this year and looking forward to him winning another MVP with, alongside with the championship. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Jamichael.